Do you understand that your kid has a swim lesson? They're excited. This is not a small thing. Do you understand that? I do. Do you have children? I do. Uh, how old are they? He's 22. Okay, so when you text them, and this has happened twice now, right before the first swim lesson is about to begin, why should these people ever want to have to work with you again? I mean, you're throwing their lives into chaos. Yeah, they don't have to want to work with me again. Um, in hindsight, on the 20th, when the parent said, hey, my child has COVID, I should have said, hey, I was exposed to COVID today. What do you want to do about next week? But th that's not, I mean, I can't go back in time. Okay. So but then I mean, why not give them a refund? Well, I, what I don't understand is like, uh, so, you know, the, the first cancellation, I could have told them a couple days earlier, true. Um, Which, by the way, for a parent with young kids that are standing there in their swimsuits makes a big difference. Right. Especially when you tested positive, by the way. These COVID tests are like pregnancy tests. They're positive or they're negative. Okay, you can't be like a tiny little bit pregnant. I'm not a doctor, I don't know how to read them. Did you call and ask someone? I, th so this was on a Sunday. Um, I couldn't find an appointment anywhere on Monday. So Tuesday, uh, the doctor's office gave me a rapid test, which was negative, but then... If you're informed on a Thursday and you don't get to the doctor till Tuesday, you had already canceled the lesson. So this is all after the fact. I wanna talk about what these lessons are. These are intensive swim lessons. Yes. Okay. Children benefit from having lessons closer together. And in fact, you gave us evidence, this is your own Exhibit B, where you even have something here that says, swim lessons, how many? I recommend you five days in a row. So when you can no longer offer them the five days in a row that you yourself recommend, why doesn't she get a refund for the entire package? Uh, because I made myself available to show up for our appointed time on Monday, which would have been five days in a row. Wait a minute, when did you make yourself available to show up? You mean after canceling? After saying, yeah, after seeing if they could move it to Saturday, they said, no, we can't do Sunday. Um, we want to cancel. And I said, would you reconsider if I was able to borrow a car so that I could make today's lesson? All right, did you understand what Ms. Contreras said earlier when she said she was 45 minutes from her sister's house? Yes. Okay, you told them an hour in advance when her kids literally have their swimsuits on yeah. that you're canceling. By the time you had that conversation, she can no longer even make it there at the appointed time. Uh, yeah, I can't speak to where she was geographically, so I... Okay, but the point is you canceled on her and then changed your mind, is what you're saying, basically. Well, yeah, I canceled, yes, I canceled and then... And then tried to uncancel it, right? Why not just borrow the car in the first place and show up? I, I, I was making all of these decisions at a last minute. I had literally shown up uh, to pick up my car and was told it wasn't ready. So I texted them first before I texted anyone about it. Right, car. which you didn't do with the COVID. So this time you put the problem on them rather than waiting until the last minute. Judge Corriero, go ahead. I'm getting worked oh, up just oh, thinking that, about having that, to deal with this. Well, relax. All right, so this is the way I see this issue. You gave the defendant $500 or, or whatever, and you eventually lost confidence in her ability to keep to a schedule. But your defense essentially is you had a no refund policy. And you've said in your papers that you were not aware of any cancellation policy no. here. And I didn't see your cancellation policy except a reference to, I think, your website. But there is no evidence that you directed the plaintiffs to your website. As a matter of fact, plaintiffs exhibits, page 36, you tell them what the, the prices are and what's expected of them. There's no mention there of a cancellation policy. So you have any proof otherwise? No, okay. I do not. Now, the next issue is the level of your reaction. Your generation goes on this kind of like community board yes. and you tell everybody what happened to you. Yes, I did go on the Facebook page. I almost felt obligated to do so, being that I found her on that Facebook Understandable. page. Understandable. There was one word that you used. Okay. <laughs> one label that you used that I had concerns about. When you accuse someone of being a scammer, you are essentially accusing them of dishonest, in some instances, could be criminal mm -hmm. behavior. 